from Golf News now. Kenyan hopeful Dismas Indiza scored two under par to finish in the top 10 on eight under par total of 208 at the 48th Barclays Kenya Open Golf Tournament that uh, ended that entered its penultimate uh, day at the Karen Country and Golf Club. South Africa's Brandon Stone overtook his compatriot Hayden Porteous to take a one-shot lead at the opening day, as the opening day leader and Jose Felipe Lima from Portugal faded to fifth. Moses Wakisi reports on a day when South Africans showed clear intentions of pocketing the winner's prize. Brandon Stone fired a 5 under par 67 with a penultimate day to move to 14 under par and overtook his countryman Hayden Portiers. Portiers was impressive and able to get back on the track after his three bogeys on the day three start and eventually settled for a level par 72. Though it cannot be said clearly that their win carried the day, on Sunday the South African stands a chance of winning the Kenyan Open. This is why we practice nine hours a day to so get the opportunities of the lead going into Sunday and having the big crowds with, our, with us and those nerves on the first tee shot. So I'm really, really looking forward to tomorrow. I'm going in tomorrow, I think I'll know what I'm going to be expecting and, you know, I've just got to deal with it. Bismuth Indiza is now a lone ranger as he is the only Kenyan with any chances of finishing among the top five during this 48th edition of the Kenyan Open. Indiza took his tally to eight under par for a total of 208 points to climb to the 10th position. He boogied on the first and 13 holes, but his impressive body at the last hole saved his day. Yeah! Remain optimistic for better outing on the final day. Nataka nijaribu kama naweza kuwa na wazungu hapo. Kwa hiyo top 1 hapo. Paka lazima top 5 paka ni ndakuwa tu niko tu hapo. Siwezi kupotea vile. Dan Hazing and Sam Walker are tied for that with 12 under par, while George Wulga and the first round leader Joseph Felipe Lima are also following with 11 under par. I'm playing the best golf I've played for ages, you know, and I've just got to take it onto the course tomorrow and just see what happens. Matthew Mondi and Brian Joroge, the other Kenyans who made the cut, are tied on position 53 after a tough outing. Action is expected to go on Ochai in tomorrow's uh, final day of the Barclays Kenyan Open Golf Championships. And looking at the leaders board, it will surely be a tight battle, especially for the leading pack. Moses Wahesi, KTN Sports.